Well, folks, yet another week and yet another injury report for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Tom Brady had a rest day on Thursday and did not participate. Carlton Davis did not participate both in Wednesday and Thursday's practices up to this point with a shoulder injury. Greg Allman of Fox Sports noted that this was definitely one worth paying attention to. Jamel Dean was limited both on Wednesday and on Thursday with a toe injury. Mike Edwards was limited on Wednesday and Thursday with a hamstring injury. Julio Jones was limited on Wednesday and Thursday with a knee injury. Carl Nassib was limited on Wednesday and Thursday with a pectoral injury. Anthony Nelson did not participate on Wednesday's practice due to an illness, but he was full go on Thursday. Rakeem Nunez Rochez did not participate on Wednesday or Thursday's practices due to personal reasons. K. Dotton was limited on Wednesday, but full go on Thursday due to a quad injury. Donovan Smith was limited on Wednesday and Thursday due to a foot injury. Vita Vea was limited Wednesday and Thursday due to a calf injury. Antoine Winfield Jr. was limited Wednesday and Thursday due to an ankle injury. And Tristan Wirfs was limited Wednesday and Thursday due to an ankle injury injury so i know that that sounds like a lot right i just listed so 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 many starters or high level role rotational players on this team that were at the very least limited throughout this week of practice so far but there is a pretty big distinction to make there between being limited and not participating at all course in the case of Tom Brady he did not participate Thursday because he did have that rest day but you got to take a look at it like this the only two guys who have not practiced in some capacity this week have been Carlton Davis due to a shoulder injury that was one worth paying attention to and Raheem Nunez Rochez due to personal injury or due to personal injuries due to personal reasons so it is very, you know, notable here that the only guy who isn't practicing this week in some capacity due to injury is Carlton Davis. Everybody else is limited, which gives at least some indication of a chance that they could play in the most important matchup the Buccaneers have had all season. If they win this week, they get in to the playoffs automatically. They win the NFC South. So the fact that you have all these guys, yes, there are a lot of them, a lot of starters on offense and on defense, high-level starters at that, they're all still practicing, which means they all have a chance to play in this upcoming matchup versus the Carolina Panthers. Now, a lot of these guys have been on the injury report throughout the whole season, right? Jamel Dean, Mike Edwards, Julio Jones, Carl Nassim to a certain degree. Donovan Smith's been on there a little bit. Vita Vea obviously has been on there a decent amount. Same with Antoine Winfield Jr. and a little bit of Tristan Wirfs in there as well. But the fact that we have some of these guys who have been dealing with nagging injuries, they're all still practicing is a good sign in my opinion. I think that there is a majority of these guys who have a pretty decent chance to play, and it would be huge, obviously, if most, if not all of these guys could play in the upcoming matchup, especially a guy like Vita Vea. The Bucks have definitely missed his presence on the defensive side of the football a lot while he has been dealing with these injuries. Tristan Wirfs, Donovan Smith, obviously getting those guys back into the mix would be huge as well. And of course, you want your number two, uh, your top two cornerbacks to be out there as well. There, there's a lot of injuries, man. You have your two starting cornerbacks, one of your starting safeties, your number three wide receiver, uh, you know, geez, uh, your third outside linebacker here with Carl Nassib, then you're obviously one of your starting outside linebackers with uh, Anthony Nelson, Kate Otten, he's your starting tight end, Donovan Smith, Tristan Wirfs, they're your starting tackles, Vita Vea, starting defensive tackle, Antoine Winfield Jr., one of your starting safeties as well. Just holy crap, a lot of starters. But I do think that there is is some good news in it that those guys are at least practicing in some way shape or form the only one that is moderately concerning is the news of Carlton Davis we'll see potentially what happens Friday but not a great indication of the fact that he has missed both Wednesday and Thursday's practices so far up to this point but folks of course we'll be keeping an eye on all of these injuries throughout the remainder of the week as well we'll probably get a lot more information tomorrow or uh, definitely on Saturday as to which guys will and won't be playing in this very extensive list for the Bucks. Again, fingers crossed that a lot of these guys can go. In fact, I think it'd be safe to say that a lot of these guys would probably be pushing to play 
because of how important this upcoming matchup is. Anyway, folks, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this injury report down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.